Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss few questions from grade 6 to science new textbook curiosity. 1. What is the main theme of the chapter? The main theme of the chapter is the importance of curiosity and how science helps us understand the world through observation, questioning and experimentation. 2. What does the chapter suggest is the first step in the in scientific inquiry? The first step is observing something interesting or something you don't understand. 3. What role does curiosity play in science? Curiosity is the driving force behind asking questions, exploring and seeking to understand how things work. 4. Why is science described as a giant unending jigsaw puzzle? Science is described as a giant unending jigsaw puzzle because every discovery we make adds a new piece of knowledge and there is always more to discover. 5. How do scientists use the scientific method? Scientists use the scientific method by making observations, asking questions, forming hypotheses, conducting experiments and analyzing results to find answers. 6. How is the scientific method applied in daily life? In daily life, we apply the scientific method when we ask questions, make guesses, test those guesses and analyze the results to solve problems. 7. What is an example of question you might ask while observing a natural phenomenon? Why do the stars shine? Or how does a seed grow into a plant? 8. What are the steps in the scientific method? The steps are make an observation, ask a question, form a hypothesis, conduct an experiment and analyze the results draw and draw a conclusion now why is it important to ask why why in science asking why helps us understand the reasons behind how things work and drive scientific discovery then what is an experiment in science an experiment is a test or investigation conducted to answer a question or test a hypothesis 11 can science only be done in a laboratory why or why not no science can be done anywhere it involves observation and questioning which can happen in everyday life not just in a lab 12 what is the scientific method used for the scientific method is used to solve problems test ideas and make new discoveries 13 how does science helps us help us understand the world science helps us understand the world by providing answers to our questions through observation experimentation and analysis 14 what can we learn about the earth through science we can learn about the planet's environment plants animals weather patterns and how they all work together to support life 15 what does science is everywhere mean it means that science can be found in all aspects of life from the food we eat to the stars in the sky 16 how does curiosity lead to scientific discovery curiosity makes us ask questions which then leads us to explore and find answers often leading to new discoveries 17 what might happen if scientists never ask questions if scientists never ask questions they would not make discoveries or learn new things about the world 18 What happens when a scientific discovery challenges an old idea? New discoveries can change our understanding of the world and may lead to a revising or updating old ideas or theories. 19. Why is it important to test our guesses in science? Testing our guesses through experiments help us find out if our hypotheses are correct or not. What is an example of how science is useful in daily life? Science is used in cooking like figuring out why a dish burns or how long to boil water. 21. How do scientists communicate their discoveries? Scientists communicate their discoveries by publishing research papers, sharing findings with the public and working with other scientists. 22. What does being a wise person means? Being a wise person mean It means asking questions and being curious about the world around you is a key part of learning and gaining wisdom. 
How do we discover new things in the world? We discover new things by asking questions, making observations, conducting experiments, and analyzing the, the result. 24. How does the scientific method help in solving problems? The scientific method helps solve problems by providing a structured approach to ask questions, testing ideas, and finding solutions. 25. What are some everyday activities where the scientific method might be used? Activities like cooking, fixing a flat tire, or trying to understand why a light bulb isn't working can all involve the scientific method. 26. What might you do if your pen stops writing? You would observe the pen, ask questions about why it stopped, test by checking if the ink is finished, and then test other possible reasons. 27. Why do you think we need to protect the environment of Earth? We need to protect the environment to ensure the survival of plants, animals, and humans, and maintain the balance of nature. 28. How do plants grow? Plants grow by absorbing water and nutrients from the soil, using sunlight for photosynthesis and developing roots, stems and leaves. 29. What are some of the things science helps us understand about food? Science helps us understand what food is made of, made of how it cooks, and how different ingredients interact in recipes. 30. Why is water important in science? Water is important because it is essential for life and has many properties like freezing, boiling, and dissolving substances, which scientists study. 31. How does water turn into ice? Water turns into ice when temperature drops below 0 degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit causing the molecules to slow down and form solid ice crystals. 32. What happens to water when it is heated? When water is heated, it turns into steam or water vapor as it reaches its boiling point. 33. Why does it rain? Rain occurs when water vapor in the atmosphere cools and condenses into droplets, which then fall to the ground due to gravity. 34. How do you think science can help in the future? Science can help in the future by solving big problems like climate change, disease, and energy needs. 35. What are some natural mysteries science helps us explore? Examples include how stars shine, why flowers bloom, and how animals adapt to their environments. 36. What is an example of science helping us understand the universe? Studying the stars, planets, and galaxies help us learn more about outer space and our place in the universe. 37. How can scientists learn about the Earth's history? Scientists can learn about the Earth's history by studying rocks, fossils, and layers of the Earth's crust. 38. Why do some scientific questions remain unanswered? Some scientific questions remain unanswered because there is not enough evidence or we do not have the technology to explore them fully yet. 39. How does science connect different fields? Science connects different fields like biology, chemistry, and physics to help us understand complex systems and how they work together. 40. What is the purpose of experiments in science? The purpose of experiments is to test hypotheses and gather data to answer questions and solve problems. 41. What does it mean to analyze results in science? Analyzing results means looking carefully at the data and determining whether the experiment supports or contradicts the hypothesis. 42. How can we learn more about the universe through science? We can learn more by using telescopes, space missions, and studying astronomy to understand stars, planets, and galaxies. 43. How can asking questions lead to scientific discoveries? 
Asking questions helps scientists focus on problems that need solving, which can lead to experiments and new findings. 44. Why is it important to share scientific discoveries with others? Sharing discoveries allows others to learn, contribute, and build upon the knowledge which helps science progress. 45. How do scientific discoveries improve daily life? Scientific discoveries lead to new technologies, medicines, and methods that improve health, communication, and, in, and our environment. 46. What is in the importance of observing things closely in science? Observing closely allows us to notice patterns, gather data, and ask the right questions that lead to discoveries. 47. What is a hypothesis in science? A hypothesis is a guess or a prediction made based on observations, which can be tested through experiments. 48. Why do scientists work in teams? Scientists work in teams because collaboration helps them combine different ideas, skills, and perspectives to solve complex problems. 49. What is an example of an everyday object made of different materials? A bicycle might be made of metal, rubber, plastic, and fabric each with different properties. 50. What are the benefits of being curious about the world? Being curious helps us learn, ask important questions, solve problems, and make exciting discoveries that improve our understanding of the world. Thank you and see you in the next video.